I'm going to show you a neat little trick of how you can reveal containers after the user enters in a password. And I don't mean logging into like an admin or a login screen. I mean on an actual page. Now I am using Elementor, but this bit of code you could use in other solutions as well. So over here we have a password box. Look, if I go in and I start hitting enter or whatever, nothing is going to appear because I've got two containers and I've currently hidden them. I've set them to only reveal on two passwords, CA and DA. Yeah, I know the passwords aren't great, but stay with me. Watch what happens when I do CA. Section one appears. If I type it in in lowercase, it doesn't. So it is case specific, which is even cool if you want to set a very funky kind of password. Now let's go put in the other one, DA. Section two now appears. How cool is that? So you can have something on a page whereby you got a password box and until someone pops pops in a certain bit of code, it will not reveal itself. So how did I create this? It's simpler than you think. On screen at the moment, I have two containers. Inside each of the containers, I have a heading and an image. I've done them as separate containers just to illustrate that you can have a container with loads of stuff in there. You could have particular posts or products, just something. And you don't really want people to see them until they go and stick in the password. The important step is to give your containers an ID. And by the way, you could do this with individual items as well. So you can have like a container and inside of there you got an image. If you give that image the ID, it will work for the image, but I'm doing it on the whole container. So in container one, you go to your advanced tab and I've put SEC1, section one, container one, whatever you want to call it. I've called it sec one. And container number two, if you go to the advanced tab, is called sec two. You can see it over there, right? You can't miss it. Sec one and sec two. I've done it on the container. Above the containers, I'm going to go and drop in another new container like that. And then into here, I'm going to drop in a HTML widget. So if you've got a code facility on your page builder or your theme builder, you can do this. OK, now into this HTML, I'm going to drop this bit of code. Let's have a look at the code. Now, the only things you need to mess around with in here are your sec1 and sec2 names. So if you go and give them particular names, go and change them and you can see them here. Pretty simple. But also what's important is what is the password you're going to set. So if I was to go and change this password now to be ZA or Cobra or whatever you want to pop in there, that will become the password for sec1. And then for sec2, you've got a different password. Now, if you get a little bit confused, just look at the logic here. Until you put CA, everything is set to none. The display is none. But when you put CA, then sec1 becomes a block. Basically, it's visible but sec2 still stays as a non. If you pop in DA, then sec1 is non and sec2 is now a block, but otherwise they are non-non. And you can see I have repeated it just to make it a bit more bulletproof. And also you have a little bit of a CSS style over here, which also says anything for sec1 and sec2 do not display from the get-go. So you go over here, you type in what you want, it's not going to display, and then you go and pop in CA and look, section one now appears and I've got a header and I've got an image. That bit of code is available in the link in our video description. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon.